Hello guys, thanks for coming back again if you have subscribed. If you are yet to subscribe, you can click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it to notify you when we drop our new video. Thank you. I want to make a quick adjustment and explanation between the bond of HCl and sodium chloride as we did in our previous video. So we need to make this adjustment so that we can pass the, uh, the information. And thanks for watching our videos because I can see people are commenting putting their point of views and thank you very much for that it shows that you're watching our video okay let's look at this in sodium chloride we have sodium and chlorine and sodium as 2 8 then you have one electron in the outer shell while in chlorine we have 2 8 then it has 7 electrons in the outer cell outer shell so considering this this have just one electron in the outer one shell still needed eight more to complete its configuration. So which means it is still highly electropositive, very, very electropositive. So which means it has the ability to lose its electron and that is at the very high side. It is very, very electropositive. And then the kind of bond that exists here is ionic bond because sodium is going to lose its electron. So we're going to have Na uh, going into Na plus plus E minus that is electron. The chlorine will accept that. When chlorine accepts the electron, it becomes 2Cl minus. So they got bonded to have a, a 2Na plus Cl2 to give us 2NaCl. So this is a typical example of ionic bond. So well, let us consider the bond between. Um, uh, hydrogen and chlorine. Actually, if it is HCl, so I would believe that hydrogen has just the first shell and one electron to fit into the first shell. So, which means one electron is in the shell or the outermost shell, which is the outermost and the innermost shell. So, we have chlorine to be 2, 8, then we have 7 electrons as well, and then we have the other time in the outermost shell. So in this case, when the bond, we see that this needs one electron to complete its shell, so it is electronegative. It wouldn't lose electron. However, hydrogen has one electron in the outermost shell, equivalently to sodium. They will be in the same group, but looking at hydrogen, it also needs one more electron to complete its duplet configuration. So which means that um, this needs one more electron to complete its octet configuration, and this needs one more electron to complete its duplet configuration, so which means their electronegativity is close. And then, compared to sodium, sodium still have electropositivity, high electropositivity, and very, very low electronegativity. So, in this case, the type of bond that exists between them will not be um, ionic. Is going to be covalent, so they are going to share the pair of electrons in order to be bonded. So, this kind of bond between hydrogen and HCl, hydrogen and chlorine rather, is covalent bond because here they are going to share the pair of electrons which is contributed by each atom. Then you have a two electron here, then we have a two A, then we have so this is what we call the bond difference between hydrogen and so hydrogen chloride and sodium chloride. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. It's free. Thank you.